Hi, this is Nafa from Note Solution. We're going to be talking about indifferent scripts today, and we're going to be looking at a question of medium difficulty just to clarify our concepts. So, the question says an indifferent script diagram has movies on the vertical axis and sodas on the horizontal axis. As the consumption of sodas increases, the marginal rate of substitution, and then there's a blank, and then it says, and the indifference curve becomes, and then there's another blank. So, first of all, to solve this question, we need to understand what marginal rate of substitution means. And so, we have a neat little formula over here. So, the marginal rate of substitution, uh, think of it as a ratio of the marginal utilities. And now, what is marginal utility? It's the utility of consuming one additional unit. So, we're going to sort of um, standardize it down to a marginal increase to be a one unit increase. So how much <coughs> more utility are you going to get from one more unit of soda compared to the amount of utility you're having to give up because of this extra consumption? So since everything comes without uh, uh, comes with a, um, a trade-off and you have to increase, if you increase something you have to decrease the other to keep the utility constant since remember indifference curves measure utility and you're going to be on a a constant, in, you're going to be on, since you're on one indifference curve, you're going to be on constant utility. So, um, coming to that, for example, let's say, let's take point A. So at point A, you have a lot of movies, but very little sodas to go with them. And so, what the modular substitution says at this particular point is, for one extra soda, since you, have, since you don't have too many, the marginal utility or the satisfaction that you derive from that extra soda will be huge. So, so let's just take the MRS at point A. It's going to be, so the marginal increase in X or the marginal increase in sodas is going to be huge just because you don't have enough and you really would like to have some more of these sodas. So let's just say marginal utility of X goes up by a large amount. So a large arrow just to show a large increase divided by. Now at this particular point you already have a lot of movies and so if you give up one or you give up some movies to get one more soda um, you'd be more than willing to do that just because the, the decrease in marginal utility for, or the decrease in the utility of giving up that last movie or the last percentage of that movie will be much lower than the increase that you faced over there. And so let's take this down as marginal utility of y will go down by a smaller amount. And so you can see that if this number is increasing by a large uh, proportion and this number is going down by a very small amount, the MRS at point A will be high. So compared to A, now let's try and look at point B. Here's a word of advice. The, this is actually the slope of the marginal rate. This is a marginal substitution of the slope of the indifference curve. But this is usually also a, a negative number when it comes to changes, just because of the negative nature of these slopes. So. Um, the tangent lines show that there is actually a negative relationship between both of these goods. So an increment in one will result in a decrease in the other. So this would basically be delta y over delta x, like we usually have come across. So just rise over run or a change in y over a change in x. But another way of writing that is in terms of these marginal utilities, which we are using over here to solve this question. So the MRS, coming back, the MRS at point B is once again MUX over MUY. So this time, at point B, you already have a lot of sodas, but you have very little movies. And so if you were to consume even more sodas, or you were to get an extra soda, that would um, according to the law of diminishing marginal returns, be of very little value to you, or your marginal utility for con from consuming, or the satisfaction you derive from consuming that extra soda would be very small. And so this number would be a small increment. 
Uh, on the other hand, on the flip side, since you don't have enough movies and you're being forced to give up another or some proportion of another movie um, because of an extra soda that you're consuming, the value of that movie that you're having to give up or the decrease in utility for, for having to give up that movie is huge. And so there's going to be a, a large decline in your marginal utility of y. And so since this number is much larger than that, the whole fraction would be resulting in a low marginal rate of substitution. So this goes to show that as we move down the indifference curve, or as we increase sodas and reduce movies, the marginal rate of substitution, x for y, or sodas for movies, goes down. On the other hand, it says, and the indifference curve becomes, and so you can clearly see that these slopes are going from steep to becoming flatter, just because of the nature of the MRS. So a lower MRS would mean a, a flatter slope. And that's why the answer should have both falls for the marginal rate of substitution and flatter when it comes to the slope of the indifference curve. So let's just go through the, uh, the options so that we pick the right answer. The first one says the marginal rate of substitution falls and the indifference curve becomes flatter. And so this basically fills out what our requirements and what we were looking for. So this looks to be our answer. But let's keep on going further down. Um, the next one says falls and steeper. So this one would actually mean that the marginal rate of substitution is falling, but these are becoming steeper and steeper, which is clearly not the case, as you can see that they are becoming consistently flatter, um, the, the slope of this particular curve. So that's not the answer. And C and D both have rises in them, and so we've already established that the marginal rate of substitution is going down, and so that can be the case. Hence, A, or false and flatter, is our answer.